All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, uh, which is going to be some a little bit of overtime here. We're playing a fifth deck today uh, with these decks not taking real long. Um, so we got got a little bit of time left uh, in the stream. So let's get a, a um, fifth deck today. So we're going to be playing some Naya Legends just because this is one of my favorite decks to play. And... Uh, it's kind of like Naya Singleton. Somebody in chat called it that a little bit ago. It's it's kind of like that. We just got a bunch of twos because of all these legendary creatures and planeswalkers. Um, and so, yeah, we played this deck the other day and did pretty well. Uh, we made one change since the last time we played is we took out uh, the second squee. You don't really ever want to draw two squees, but we took out the second squee for a Lava Coil. Just have have a removal spell. Um, just to keep the opponents honest. You know, you gotta have that, that first removal spell there. So here we go. Let's get some Naya Legends. No, there isn't any legendary Land War Elves. It's a, it's a huge bummer. So La Land War Elves, um, are gonna be taking, are gonna be taken. Um, are going to get exiled by the Urza's Ruinous Blast if we ever cast those. And so that's a big bummer. All right, love it. Starting off with a good hand. Here we go. So can we... So here's the question. Can we actually um, get past... Can we get past the three-win plateau today? Haven't done it quite yet. We'll see if Nile Legends gets us there. No, there's not enough demons for a tribal deck in standard. Um, I've looked into that one, but no, there's there's just not. I want to play Weatherlight um, here, and so we can't play. We cannot play Landry Storm plus Weatherlight. So just getting the Weatherlight down. Now, Seraph of the Scales is, is one of the very best cards in, in Mardu Angels. Um, yeah, it is one of the very, very best cards. Okay, I'm going to save Ruinous Blast. Um, let's crew these. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Wait for them to play another thing before we Ruinous Blast. I could have I could have ruinous blast this turn. I could have like crewed with my three creatures for Weatherlight and then blast, but that just takes out my two elves for these two. Uh, it's just not not worth it. Dude, Jody won GP Memphis? Really? That is awesome. Crone with this before this thing gets exiled. Yeah, that's great news.
All right, Crush, this deck is really cool. Looks like this is 93 now. Let's play Tristani. Play a little defense. Um, I kind of feel like playing a lot of defense. I'm just I'm, don't even think I want to attack. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we're, we just sat back and played defense. Here. So yeah, I, the avatar, with the, the latest update, my avatar has just changed to be random, and I haven't, I haven't changed it back. I've, I've kind of liked the, the random. Let's go to seven, because we want to cast this for five. And that's why we're casting for five. For cards like Lyra. That's pretty good. Um Yeah. <laughs> Guru says been having a lot of fun with your Naya value deck before the new expansion. I'm trying to build Naya Legends, but it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah. Have you been playing Naya Value since uh, Ravnica Allegiance? Um, I know that deck needs to adapt to Krasis and everything. Like, it needs to adapt to new Soul Tie, but I haven't taken that time. Yeah, Druidic Vow is nice. U.S. Mint getting that sub in for the 10th month. Thank you so much, U.S. Mint. U.S. Mountain, U.S. Mountain. Sub number 18 on the day, getting some hype in the channel. Good job, doc, doc, Dr. Pez. Way to win the store championship. All right, well now we switch up our deck, basically. Uh, switch it up a whole lot. Um, let's cut Vivian... Weatherlight, Squee, Last Vivian, um, I don't know, maybe I don't need all these Clarions and Coils. Let's try this assortment of cards. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah, the the Legends deck I think I think we can have a an okay matchup against Sultai, at least because we have like the Urza's Ruinous Blast are just so incredibly good. Um, someone else said something. Oh, yeah, Dr. Pez. There you go. Yeah, won the store championship with Naya Angels. Awesome. There we go. Um, let's get this one. Sure. All right, should I coil the challenger? Or save coil? I'm just going to coil the challenger. Ha, uh, thanks, Dr. Pez. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Bar Child. That's weird. That's... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Thanks for the bits, Dr. Pez. <laughs> uh, opponent, I don't think you need to use a justice strike on a on a one one. I'm not sure that one was too necessary. All right, so Aurelia or Shalai? Aurelia's better against Coil. Shalai's better at blocking Healer's Hawk. Let me go Aurelia. Loving the Dr. Pez. Same game. Uh oh. All right, so bringing in a couple more Lava Coils over a couple uh, Night of Autumns. Clarion is not very good against Tajik or, like, the bigger Flyers. Bringing in some Vivians again to be able to kill, like, those bigger Flyers. So they do have, like, some Legends. Maybe I cut a, a Blast. I'll play a second Clarion there. Over a Blast. Well, we have turn two Tajik and nothing else, but this is not going to be a mulligan. Um, you know, a big part of this deck is one, you know, we have a lot of four and five mana cards and we want to play those early. And this hand can do that. We don't have the four or five mana cards yet. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't draw into them. So we have lots of good draws uh, and we have the, the fast mana. And that's a good four or five four or five mana card. Good one to draw. So our opponent went to Jeek in, into Aurelia against us. Let's go to Jeek into Aurelia against them. Do I just want to trade with our Boros Challenger and deal them too? Kinda want to. Nah, we don't need to. Yeah, we're we're on a fifth deck. Uh, our other decks just didn't didn't um didn't quite pan out. You know, we uh, had some fast leagues and everything, so we have time for a fifth deck today. So Druidic Vow, I basically always want to cast it for five or more um, because of our five drops. So this isn't really a isn't really the time to play Druidic Vow, uh, in my opinion. There, so I'm hoping to draw a land here and just have the fifth have be able to play Druidic Vow for five. We need to draw a land 
to be able to do that, but that's what I'm hoping. Wasn't, but it was a Lyra. So I guess that's the next best thing. Oh, Land of War Elf. Uh, tapped the wrong Land of War Elf. Yeah, tapped the wrong Land of War Elf there. Together, we are unstoppable. See in yourself what I see. Farewell. Alright, so this is kind of risky. But I wanted to do that in case we hit in case we hit our other Lyra here. Uh, we can replace this Lyra. Wow. That could not have gone worse. That's double Ruinous Blast to the graveyard. Which Ruinous Blast is just awesome in this matchup. It's like we exile the Conclave Tribunal and everything. Yeah, that could not have gone worse. Hmm. Well, I guess it could have gone worse. Because now we have red white up for Tajik. Give Tajik first strike. Um, so I'm really surprised our opponent just attacked in like that. Um Man, another Druidic Vow would be awesome, though. If we drew another one. <laughs> we have all this mana now. Sounds like a car, the Boros Challenger. Hey, Santa Polly B gifting the sub to Varchild. Thanks, Santa Polly B. So now I get used to those all those awesome emotes. So Tajik is going to be the only, the only creature that dies for Deafening Clarion from us. Alright, so that's sub number 19 on the day. We are one away from that 20 mark and cracking open another pack. Oh, it says 95 now, actually. So the elves didn't die because of Tajik. Uh, Tajik says that prevent all non-combat damage to be dealt to your other creatures. So it, the, def the Deafening Clarion only deals the damage to Tajik and nothing else. We are kind of behind here, though. We need to draw another Druidic Vow.
Yeah, so they have the mana to pump this once. So 7-6 still. Still trades there. Not a bad draw. Can we just draw any of our four or five mana cards? But especially, especially Kamal's Druidic Vow. All right, well, that'll have to do. Oh. Doesn't tap and make me a 1-1. One, one. Do not fear, my friend. You are capable of more than you assume. I wanted the lifelinker with Aurelia there. A little too late. Too late for Tristani here. It's a turn too late. I should have. I should have not. Not put the the plus on. If I would have just not put the plus on, on the uh, Amara and you know, attacking with it and having it die, that, that wasn't like a, the punt. The punt was giving it vigilance, so it didn't make a one one. See, if we would have made that one one life linker, we could have attacked in for three life link here, at least. We could have gone to six. Um, yeah, that 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 was the pun of not getting that life linker. I I didn't want to do that earlier because I need to have the legend and play in case we drew the legendary sorcery but you know once we drew aurelia that's why i was like okay now it's a, it's okay to attack with this amaro once we had aurelia but i i punted with the uh the plus part there There, Tajik had first strike. We we couldn't gain any life from it anyway. We we're we're dead there. I think mean, I could have gained two life, but we're still dead. Why couldn't we draw these cards last game? The, basically, the the thing that cost us that game, which, you know, it's, it's all hindsight, but the thing that cost us that game was actually just casting Cabal's Druidic Vow. If I just don't cast that card, we just draw... You know, like, we, we got nothing from it. We could have just drawn... Um, drawn those... Uh, Urza's Ruinous Blasts. Obviously, we just don't know that, you know? Like, that's just... It's just... You know, unfortunate how that happened. It's the hindsight kind of thing. It's the kind of thing that I'm casting that card 10 out of 10 times. That just happened to happen like that. I would not say that land war elves are useless at all. I don't like that. Is that an adjective? I guess. But what, what else are you doing with the Gates shell for the deck? You say a Gates shell for the deck. Like what? What cards do you want to play? Like Guild Summit's kind of tough. Um. With Urza's Ruinous Blast. Like, the point of the deck is an Urza's Ruinous Blast deck. So you don't really want to play Guild Summit. All of the creatures get exiled by Urza's Ruinous Blast also. 
So I, I don't know what gate payoff we're really playing. Good job, Yud. Um, I'm not sure if I want to play Lyra or not. I think I'm going to say no to playing Lyra. Well, I'm glad I didn't play Lyra. Vivian. I didn't live through hell. Meet my newest friend. I I did originally have a uh, Jaya's Immolating Inferno in the deck, um, but I wasn't too impressed with it overall. Sideboarded it out all the time. Um, it just didn't really work too well for us. Even though I get to kill the guild summit here, they still just the damage just kind of been done. I've drawn. <laughs> get that out of too here. many cards. <laughs> yeah, it's a new thing. I just got uh, glasses yesterday, um, so. No, Nikia is not good in the list because you can't cast non creature spells with Nikia. We have a lot of non creature spells we want to cast. So, again, kind of the point of the deck is to play the legendary sorceries, those are non creature spells. That can't help you now. Sing the song of fame. Thanks, Bear. No, I don't think a Johnny would be better than Hawatli. Um, I like Hawatli making three threes. Don't think we're winning this game. Yes, Grand Warlord Rada has haste. Um, oh, I could have. Yeah, I would have been able to add the mana to. Yeah, I could have played that and Huali. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I could have played both. I I didn't play my land yet before that, and so I I miscounted. They discarded all of their other two Gates of Blazes, so no more Gates of Blaze for the opponent. That's that's a little risky. Okay, it doesn't matter. Alright, extra Shalai. All these Knight of Autumns. I kind of like Blast. Gets rid of all those. Their enchantments. And the creatures. It just exiles everything. We need to get the Tajik Shalai combo. If we get the Tajik Shalai combo in play, we just kind of. We kind of win. They can't really kill anything. Spyglass is only good against Azkanta. And I'm bringing in a bunch of other disenchant effects. So I think we're fine there. Plus, Spyglass gets exiled by our own Urza's Ruinous Blast. So that's bad. No static. Oh. 
Aesthetic at all. Uh, they're like a mass manipulation deck. <laughs> Deacon Blues plays sometimes. It's in the playlist. Alright, let's go. Yeah, our luck has been limited today. Has been a little limited. Alright, so Lannery Storm at least gets us a treasure when we attack with it here. I don't want to necessarily use it right away. I'd like to save the treasure for Druidic Vow, especially now that we have drawn Druidic Vow. <laughs> the place for smooth jazz and smooth decks. Come to the right place. Tajik is awesome against Gates of Blaze, their main removal spell. It's also very good against our opponent not playing a third land. Oh, there's a third land. I think they can do anything about this Go from here. On their flesh. Over. We haven't seen your man Squee yet, and I actually sideboarded out Squee. Good job, Ugandu. Finally got the four Galtas with that Singleton Selesnya deck. Way to go. Um... All right, let's keep it going. Let's try again. Ugh. All right. Done. It's only one white mana so far. But maybe we can get turn two Captain Lannery Storm. Captain Lannery Storm. Alright. Hopefully next turn Huatli. Hoping they don't kill my two land war elves. Okay, good. Uh what is Huatli really doing though? Um. Hmm. This is about to get interesting. Their strength is your strength. Please don't. Please don't have a gate. The day is yours. Yeah. Didn't do a whole lot for us. I need it to un I need to untap with it to be able to cast Druidic Vow, because you know I don't have a legendary um creature on the battlefield. All right, and now I do.
Double guild summit though. Sure, like that 2 2 really matters. Rude opponent. We're going to attack with Landry Storm and make a treasure and play Lyra. I don't know how that helps us win. I'm just saying that those are things I can do. Making, dino making a dinosaur blocker just doesn't really... I guess... Yeah, yeah, no, making a dinosaur blocker was just better. I don't know why I was thinking that... I was thinking that the, if I make a dinosaur that, that Huali would just die. But no, making a dinosaur was certainly better. That's my fault. Man, another O2. All right, we got time. Let's run it back. <clears throat> we didn't get to do very much, very much cool stuff with our deck, so I want to run it back. I can't just Kamal's for five. That's the, that's the problem, Dr. Pez. I can't just cast Kamal's Juridic Vow. I have to have the legendary creature in play to cast it. Um, oh, it's been okay. Yeah, we've we've lost some games and everything, but... That's okay. We're not, you know, our decks aren't, we're not playing like the, the best tier one decks or anything. And so some, sometimes, uh, if variance isn't really on your side, you know, you're going to lose some games and, you know. It's okay. Yeah, you can find all my deck lists in on my stream decker. Exclamation point decks. You can find them all there. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. So let's start over. New League. I'm playing Squee over Shalai. It's a blue-black deck. They could certainly have like counter spells, removal, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, especially counter magic. I just like playing the Squee first. Um, and we have nothing else to do. We'll go ahead and play the Shalai. Yep, squeeze time time to shine. The empty battlefield. Ah, it's an Esper deck. Ah, Esper midrange. Okay. Urzarunas blast is going to be good against Hero Precinct One. Squee is the real hero. That's what we've been missing. We haven't we haven't had Squee. Darwin, just hold on. So this will get rid of our two tokens.
We'll just exile all of their things, including uh, Seraph of the Scales. And I wanted to do that first before Vow, because I just want to make even a, a larger Vow. Um, this doesn't really matter, though. Alright, so yeah, Blast seems like it'll be awesome in this matchup. So is Clarion. Clarion's really good here, too. See, it's a good thing that we had that one Lava Coil. We kept our opponent honest. We got that Thief of Sanity out of there. That one Lava Coil did some work for us. Hmm... All right, so if I bring in a third blast, I'm going to cut a Rada. Doesn't get through there. 3-4 on the ground. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut the Grand Warlord Rada for a third blast, and that's it. I'll take my chances with having all the lands. Already paying off for us. Our curve's really high, so having a lot of lands is uh, important. Thief of Sanity is a little messy. That one's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, most uh, Esper decks don't main deck Thief of Sanity, but this this one does. This is Esper midrange. They are um, a main deck Thief of Sanity deck. So they can take one of our four mana flyers, but we get the other. So they missed a land drop, right? Yeah, they did. Well, they got they drew their land. Ugh. I'm just going to Vow for three next turn if I don't draw a land. I guess so. Hopefully we draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. Come on, Urza's Ruinous Blast. No, those are two cards I really wanted. No, it's only banned in best of one, not best of three. We'll see how much they want to attack Karn. So Karn's not dying. This will not deter me. Oh, they cast a new Shalai, not the one from Hostage Taker. Interesting. So I can minus one get Vivian, Vivian kill Shalai. Or I can just vow for four.
which a Val for four could set up a really big Val next turn. If we get some lands. Yeah, since they have another Shalai backup. Yeah. Um, Z. Actually, I'm, I'm getting Vivian. Because I want them to spend their turn casting a Shalai and not just have a Shalai to attack with also. I think this is actually good. And as we know, five is the perfect number to Val for anyway. So I actually, I actually like them like taking another turn to just to cast a lie, kill my planeswalkers. We're basically in the same spot next turn, uh, but we get to vow for five. All right, cannot save. Vivian. Wait, can I say Vivian? We'll see. Is it good to say Vivian? Probably is. There are greater battles to fight. All right. We have we have 3 Ah. Uh. Perfect. Perfect. See, maybe if I don't block, maybe they just they just don't cast the Eldritch Reborn because they're not they're not too scared. If I don't block, I mean I'm probably just gonna mill out honestly, at this point. I kind of really need to draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. Yeah, I really need to draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. It's a good card. I think that's the card I said I really need to draw. Yeah, that was the card. All right, have, have y'all seen this, this card cast before? I don't know if y'all seen this. I like that Shalai back, please. Thank you. Hey, we've had some tough luck today. We need we need a little bit of luck somewhere. And because our opponent played the wrong Shalai earlier as well, um, not the one from not the one from Hostage Shaker before. Are <laughs> you sure you aren't Yugi? I am not reincarnated. Are you certain of your decision? All right, this Druidic vow. Oh, I should have gave them Lyra, actually. Yeah, not gave them this mana. I should have gave them Lyra. Do we think they have Negate? I mean, I feel like if they had Negate, they wouldn't have just played the, thief, the other Thief of Sanity last turn if they had Negate. They would have just held up Negate, right? I don't know what they shocked in for, though. I don't know anything else. I mean, I can play around it. I can just activate Shalai here and do nothing else but activate Shalai. Disdainful stroke? Any other disdainful stroke? I should have gave them Lyra last turn. The time has come. Good, yeah, cast that Lyra. Tap out. 
No. Should not have gave him the land last turn. Just that little tiny mistake of giving them the land over the Lyra. It's so frustrating. But that one little mistake cost us that game. Because then they, they did have negate. Alright, I probably need more coils. They're playing a bunch of hostage takers. It's gonna be easier to not die to Thief of Sanity on the draw, or sorry, on the play. We have so many flyers that block it and everything like that. Um, it was kind of rough being being on the draw with, you know, I kept a six lander to be honest. This is a great hand. Turn two, Captain Lannery Storm. Crashing on in. Turn three, we'll have either Karn or Vivian, whichever one they leave us with. They took Karn? Thank you. I would rather have Vivian. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. The wilds are my shield. Let's get another white source. Um, and you know, cracking that treasure and casting it pre-combat because of the buff on Captain Lannery Storm. We got that 20th sub, Mental Massacre. Thanks for that sub there. Really do appreciate that. Keeping the hype going in the channel. Balance comes. I will fight. The choices we make reveal who we are. Yeah, love all the hype boats in the chat. Thanks, everybody. Oh, well, you're welcome, Masker. Thanks for the kind words. All right, so that is... All right, there we go. Sub number 20 on the day. Y'all know what that means. It's pack time. And that means we're going to 94 here. Convenient, an excellent choice. We'll be coiling the Sarah. I've seen things that would break someone like you.
And I'll play Tristani. So we can attack for seven. So now they're like basically dead. Vivian's gonna ultimate. All right. Picking up a win. See, we just need to restart. And there we go, got a win. Nia Legends, it's back. Speaking of back, we got this pack. Get a mythic, get a mythic. Another rare, we went three for three on rares today. We got 60 gems. <laughs> yeah, the deck was hungry for a win, right? That was a slaughter. <laughs> Um, Esper Control, I like Esper Control. I think it's a it's a good deck. Um, well, I mean, I like that as a choice for if you want to play in a tournament, but I, I don't actually like Esper Control. It's just, you know, control decks aren't really my thing. Yeah, turn three Vivian, not bad. I mean, our opponent could have stopped us. They could have taken Karn. Or sorry, they could have taken Vivian with Thought Erasure. But didn't do it. All right, our opponent seems like they have a goal in mind. Looks like their goal is maybe to counter lots of things. That's what I'm picking up from what they're putting down. Basic Plains Legions landing. I kept my hand that's good against control, though. No, I'm just kidding. All right, hopefully we survive until turn five. We got a couple haymakers on turn five. So, love... Love our opponent not doing anything turn turn two, of course. The later this game goes, the better for us with Tristani and Lyra. Lantern Storm's a great draw. That just speeds us up a turn. I can just attack in there, and I get to play Lyra next turn. I guess it's better to lead with Tristani over Lyra, because if they're... They have Conclave Tribunals. I'd rather them Tribunal Tristani than Tribunal Lyra. But of course, they may have multiple Tribunals with how slow this hand's been. Uh, or they could just have some Elephants. Yeah, Naya Legends is viable, absolutely. Absolutely, you can have fun with this deck. If they have Pride of the Conquerors, it's going to be sad. Mox just doesn't work too well, honestly. Um, I've tried, I've tried the deck with Mox. I've tried it with like twenty, like I've played it quite a bit with like twenty-five lands in a Mox, and just kind of eventually ended up going to the twenty-sixth land. Um, Decklist also works. Deck and decklist should both work. All right, another Shalai. More Urza's Ruinous Blast. This is definitely an Urza's Ruinous, Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. We have to be able to untap with a legendary creature or Planeswalker, though, which can be tough. Why 
up here just like you. Probably need to take out one vow. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Maybe I just take out all the land war elves with bringing in these clarions. Nah. Okay, game two. Yeah, Lava Coil is one of the best cards, absolutely. It's just it's just a wonderful removal spell. Um hands very slow. Okay, so I want to draw in Urza's Ruinous Blast with another land. Legion War Boss. Against the creature heavy deck. Alright. You know, our opponent has had a slow start so far, but they could definitely just have a bunch of heroic reinforcements that beat us up really bad. Um, you know, I hope that's not the, the case, but I could see it. Ice cream time? Nice, that's always a good time. Am I supposed to play Night of Autumn there? Destroy history? I think so. Ugh. Hmm. All right, so Tajik trade with War Boss. Then Aurelia just kill a 2-2. Two, two. I'm taking 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And going down to 1. I was hoping to draw Lyra Dawnbringer. Or Urza's Ruinous Blast. Either one. Would have been able to exile all their things. Right, so I guess I just have to gain four life. It's kind of my only choice. Oh, wow. We needed. Lyra was our only out. All right, try being on the play here. Let's hopefully have a Lava Coil or a Deafening Clarion early. Yeah, we have we have four, four Urza's Blasts, three Clarions. So we have seven Sweepers. That, that, uh, that game we had zero of those Sweepers. We lost. I feel like we need those Sweepers. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to just fit more ramp in the deck, but 
can certainly see that. Nope, no final bosses today. Really? Tajik? Oh wait, I guess it's not that bad. Wait, that is bad. Yeah, I was wrong. That was that was that bad. Just play a uh, heroic reinforcements, please. Or something that doesn't kill me and doesn't kill Tristani. So if we take it, we Urza's ruinous blast away the Vanguard and the Benelish Marshal, but then. I can't block the Tajik because the Tajik, remember their Tajik is legendary, so their, their Tajik doesn't die. It doesn't get exiled. Um, so, you know, like that's, that's a problem. Um, Cause then like their next turn, they have, um, they have the ability to give their Tajik first strike. Oh, I guess their Tajik's only a 3-2, though, because without Benelish Marshal, it's only a 3-2. No friend of mine fights alone. They just keep on playing these legendary things. We haven't seen any legendary things from them at all. And now that's their second legendary thing in a row. Do I stream FB as well? Like what, like Facebook? I don't know, this is the only, this is the only game I stream, if that's your question. I don't stream other games. And, okay, no, you are talking about Facebook? Okay, yeah, no, I, I don't do anything with Facebook. You'd have to have a lot different Naya deck to be able to be playing Zakama. Look how far you have come. Have to have a lot higher curve and everything. I forgot that Knight of Autumn was going to be a 5-4, not a 4-3, because of Tristani. So I, I wish I would have just played the two Knight of Autumns there, and not the, def the Deafening Clarion. So I think I kind of messed up there. Now 
Yeah, I could have waited a turn on the Clarion, waited for this. Maybe I didn't need to play both Knight of Autumns, but just play the one Knight of Autumn. Deliver us to victory. Oh, Knight of Autumn's gonna leave. Very well. Yeah, end of the night. I'm just not. I'll play my best. Strength is born of struggle. There you go, you got those Galtas. Good job. I'm not worried about history. I'm worried about a Johnny right now. It's like that, that history I wasn't really worried about. I was thinking that I was going to be able to take out a Johnny. A Johnny's the problem. Like that thing's going to ultimate really soon. I can't find can't find a, f a flyer to save my life now that the Shalai is dead. We destroyed that one Shalai. Be strong. Can I draw another Clarion, please, deck? Please give me another Clarion. That Johnny just messed me up so bad. That and, you know, drawing all those lands. We just couldn't get through. I know, right? We need the legendary collected company. Definitely could have used that. Could have used so many things. Um, we didn't draw any of our four or five mana legends at all. Didn't draw a single one that entire that entire game. We need a land here to, to play Vivian. Um never mind, we're just dead. Gates again. Decks with mono sweepers are good against decks with lots of creatures. <sighs> okay, it's been rough. I know. I play the July here because it's like kind of a fast clock. You know, they just have lava coil. Every fight makes me stronger. 
All right, plan is ultimate Vivian. That's our plan. That's our game plan. I'm not like destroying their guild summits. They got millions of those. They have millions of cards. You know, they play a they play a land. They get to draw three, but then they just have to go to discard. So whatever. Our plan is give Vivian to eight loyalty. And ultimate Vivian, and then they can't deal with our creatures, and then kill them with creatures. Yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast is also a good plan. Ruinous Blast will get rid of these Gate Colossuses also. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, I had other Legends decks uh, in the previous format. I haven't, I haven't uh, updated any to uh, be to add anything with Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, but we had a Grixis deck, Grixis Legends, and um, Grixis Legends, Bant Legends, and then I guess Jeskai Legends had a little bit in it. And we're gonna be playing Jeskai Legends tomorrow. Uh, Zerf donated for that deck for tomorrow. They may mill out with Triple Guild Summit. Yeah, I've been streaming for a while. Can't stop nature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't want to vow for five here. I can only I can only play one thing. I can't double spell with anything, and I think vow for five may be the best way to protect Vivian from a Gate Colossus. That was not not a very good way. That was an Urza's Ruinous Blast. Going to the graveyard also. And I still can't cast anything else. I can't make an artifact and block that thing either. I'll make use of that. that just worked out terribly. Yeah, I could have minus on the Colossus, but I, I really want to ultimate Vivian. I'm gonna try to like I really want to ultimate Vivian. Tajik blocks it, but I mean, come on, they they have a removal spell for Tajik. I mean, 
Let's, let's be real. Like, they discarded Clarion earlier. No, Tristani doesn't work, because if they just kill Tristani, then... I guess Shauna would block it with Tristani. They would have to have removal for Tristani and Shauna. That was that was a terrible vow, especially because blast is really important. We need to be able to blast these colossuses away. And they have it they have exactly seven. Um Yeah, exactly seven gates. Yeah, so Tristani would have got Gates to Blazed away, which makes sense. Tajik oh, prevents knockout combat damage to other, other creatures, not itself. And Shauna's only a 1 1. So if I would have hit Tajik plus some other creatures, we could have been fine. Even just one other creature. If it would have just been Tajik and one other creature, because then I could have used Karn, I could have minus two Karn. Um, if they just had one other creature in play. But they didn't have one, one other creature. Are they going to mill out? So that's really bad for us. The Vivian died. Yeah, stall until the opponent mills out. That's a, it's not a bad plan. So we have one Shalai and one Tajik exiled. Oh, perfect. Honestly, I don't know if I even want to get rid of the guild summits, but I have to get rid of the gate colossuses. I'm sorry, Architect, you were 4-0 and then lost two matches. Oh, that's such a that's such a beating. Oh, it's so rough, I'm sorry. Niv? They're at 18 cards now? is painless. Yeah, this foul should be pretty big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean I can also I can I get to kill Niv. I don't know if I want to do that if I just want to vow for ten. Are we looking for like what? Like another fall before me. Are we looking for like another Niv or uh, this Vivian? Is not what was written. You may regret that choice. We 
Should be minus in Karn. They're at 16. I'm gonna go underneath them after vowing. Yeah, I, I, would, I don't think they have Negate's main deck. Remember, this is game one. Decisive action is needed. Gotta survive a turn and hope for the best with this vow. I don't have any. Oh, come on. Don't have any Urza's is Ruinous Blast yet. All right, so I went a little riskier there. I could have... I mean, I guess I should have just played Tajik and then Vow for... Vow for eight. Shock, Tajik, Vow for eight. Then hope one of my top eight cards was my last July. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I should have just played a massive WoW. Vow. Should have just done that. This match is just tough to... Tough to win. Yeah, I could have I could have gone Val for eight and leave three mana and then Tajik if we found Shalai. And if, if we didn't find Shalai then not, but I don't know, we were we were kinda dying to the Um To the Rams. I think I want a third Tajik in this deck. I think that's what we kinda find that like the Tish the Tajik Shalai combo is honestly really good against a lot of decks. Um a lot of these red decks and um, we're going Lannery Storm here, though, because we can play Vivian next turn. Yeah, we just couldn't quite... Couldn't quite ultimate the Vivian. We were really close. We... Missed on that vow earlier. How sometimes restoration means retribution. Yeah, I couldn't quite get to that Vivian ultimate. Yeah, twenty dollars, big show. For a donation deck. Information the about that are my shield. is down below in the info panel. To pretend.
we got this combo online, so they can use a sweeper, but the sweeper only kills Tajik. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna activate this. Hit them until they use another sweeper here. I, oh, they do have five gates because the gateway plazas. You can't stop nature. So I can vow for six. Let's do it. Oh, they just have negate? Oh, come on. Got too greedy. Should have just played some more creatures. Oh my god. Can this go any worse? Balance comes. This is just how today's gone. This is exactly how today's gone. For us. Ugh. They're lucky I drew Tajik, and Tajik's awesome. But otherwise, I was sad. <sighs> All right, game three. Good job, Tajik. Way to be awesome. Good, do good job, Captain Landry Storm. Way to be awesome. Okay, can we get a game three? Yeah, Jody won GP Memphis. That's so awesome. That's, oh man. What's that happened for Jody? Yep, Rakdos mid range one. That's his second big trophy. The other one he won on a, in a team event. Me, him, and Tom Ross. All right, really good hand here. Um, turn two, we can Lannery Storm or Tajik. We're gonna Lannery Storm so we can start getting treasures out with Druidic Vow. Lannery Storm and Tajik have just been like impressive all the time. I wonder if I should be playing like three of each of those instead of two. I waited till I know I could have cracked the I could have just cracked that treasure pre-combat to get the pump on Captain Lannery Storm, but then Lannery Storm would not have gotten the um, the mentor like the so the full-time pump. So that's three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. 
And there we go. So Gates of Blaze wouldn't have mattered because of... Like, Gates of Blaze would have just killed Tajik if they would have had Gates of Blaze. That was satisfying. Yeah, I wonder if I need more Tajiks and, and Captain Lannery Storms. Those cards have always been just... Like, they always just seem really good. <laughs> yeah, you blinked. They were dead. Yeah, turn two, you know, haste creature. Turn... Turn to Captain Lannery Storm attacking, making a treasure. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think they just died on turn four, right? Yeah, I think we had lethal on turn four. And this is the same hand, but with Aurelia. So... Okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to just play Aurelia and attack him for a bunch? Or do I want to just play Huatli and start making 3-3s? Three I think it's either Aurelia or, Hur or Huatli. Um, kind of like just making 3-3s. Three threes. Go Your and feast on their flesh. History. Just keep on making three threes. <laughs> What'd you miss? Okay, so then after they mass manipulated Vivian, I drew Tajik, which was lethal because they were at five, and then I, I had Tajik plus. Aurelia. I already had Aurelia in my hand. Come, sing the song of fame. And we are just killing people. And then we killed him really quickly game three also after that. Uh, we had we killed him on turn four on game three. We had turn one elf, turn two Lannery Storm, turn three Tajik plus Amara, and turn four attack for lethal. And this game was similar, but we went turn two Lannery Storm, turn three Huatli, making three threes. We didn't kill him until turn five, but... We had a Huali in play also. Now we're up against Esper Control. Esper Control is a is our usually our hard matchup. They got stuck on lands and we had an awesome opener, so we saw what happened, but this is the matchup we don't want to face. So Lava Coil comes out, Blast comes out, Tyrant and Spyglass in. And I gotta fit in one more card. All right, Lyra out also. I'm gonna play some Knight of Autumns. Nah, just one Knight of Autumn. Knight of Autumn's better than Shauna. We'll go two Knight of Autumns over the other Lyra and a Shauna. Yeah, Knight of Autumn is pretty good against Escanta, and it's also just, it's a it's a good attacker. Just four, just three mana, four three, um, can be pretty good for us. One thing is, is it does die to cast down. If our cast down is kind of a popular removal spell these days, 
And I could see our opponent keeping in cast down, thinking that, that it does stuff. Um, and we kind of gave them an, a little bit of an opening there with Knight of Autumn. Thanks, Emmanuel. So with leading with the forest, I just realized that I don't have Amara on turn two because I can't Clifftop Retreat here. Um, so Knight of Autumn is actually the only card I can even play on turn two. No, I mean, I can't even play that either. I don't have white mana. What am I saying? I, so yeah, just playing the Clifftop Retreat in, attacking for one. They got lucky. I should play Squee. That's kind of what Squee does. So I didn't play Aurelia because I was thinking like Mortify. Um, so I just played Amara. All right, squee time. I think our opponent's trying to draw the land for Kaya's Wrath next turn, so I'd rather have, or rather play Squee into a Kaya's Wrath, and then be able to follow it up with like a Tajik and Aurelia. <laughs> it's not Squee, it squeezes. Called it. Well, they can't cast Absorb. They need they need double blue for Absorb. If only had one blue. Carnage Tyrant down. Let's see if this gets another Kaya's Wrath. Alright, two Kaya's Wraths down. Go, Squee, go. All right, no Teferi. That's good news. Still only one blue mana. Squee gonna get him. Squee gonna get him. Absorb, Wrath, Mortify. Squee gonna get him. Why not why not to fairy time bender? <laughs> Good question.
Let's throw this out there. I don't think I want to pass and not use my mana. The immortal squee. The immortal squee. What is this? The royal we? That's basically the immortal squee. I'm kind of surprised they didn't use absorb on the Aurelia to gain life, honestly. Honestly, that's what I was expecting, was them to use the Absorb, but they used the Mortify. Now they're like forced Kai's Wrath away the Squee. The Royal Squee. Alright, you got me, opponent. They're up to five. They're looking at that spyglass. I think they I think they drew to fairy. Haha. -ha. Did I name the right one? Hero Dominaria. Hero Dominaria. Very remorse, good. Very good. I'll show restraint. Put a couple lethal attackers out there. Oh, I could I should have played Squee. I would have had to not auto tap, but All right, good job, Squee. Come on back in here, because you're on the winning team, Squee. You get it. Get your relish in that victory. GG Squee. GG, also known as Squee Squee. Pono kept on looking at like all their removal in hand against that Squee. <laughs> Level Fire says, that's it, I'm crafting for Squee. <laughs> Alright, three and one. Can we win this and get to a final boss battle? Squeegee? Is that a GG? Squeegee? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that match was pretty squeezy. Dude, Squee is really good. Look at what our opponent's doing with us just having Squee in. <laughs> Concede to establish dominance. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Opponent couldn't handle the Squee. Well, it counts as a win. Counts as a win. So it is final boss time. Here we go.
All right, I like our opener here. You know, we got an Amara on turn two. It's not it's not as good as like we've had for our, some of our last uh, games. Okay, now it's gotten better. Amara into to, into Tajik can do some real damage. All right, we're gonna need some lands though, deck. Gotta hit some land drops. No, my Tajik. Maybe they take Huatli. Alright, I'm getting the four color discard. Or no, wait, wait, this is what? Rakdos aggro, actually. So, wrong deck list. Let's get Rakdos aggro up on YouTube. I know it's going to cost us two life not playing the Sacred Foundry right now, but we don't know. Uh, we don't have our opponent. Our opponent doesn't know that we have the land. Alright, so then they Wrath, and then we resolve Karn and start ticking up and hitting land drops. Maybe I should just play Huatli. <laughs> You're welcome, Eddie. This is at 97 right now. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do, is just hit, hit land drops and make a large Druidic Vow. That is my goal right now. You know what? I'm not done yet. is rewarded oh wow I did not expect that to resolve beasts are much more reliable than humans this is nothing honestly I did not expect that to resolve but that's awesome they did hold that thought all right almost done getting the rectus aggro up on YouTube Not dead yet. Okay. Um. The 
choices we make reveal who we are. They took the vow. Uh. History is written by the victors. Go and feast on their flesh. My poor vow. Time for plan B. Yeah, that was a terrible turn for me. They had the Thought Erasure for the Vow and the Let's Contempt for the, the Vivian. Bad turn for me. We still have a Karn and Huatli. And we still have this Vow we're going to draw. We're going to draw our, our other Vow, our second one. Right here. It's close. You may regret that choice. Yeah, the dino got cast down. Come, sing the song of fame. Enough. Oh man, we have. If you've never played Val before, we've had some, we've had some we crazy vows here quickly. on stream, and drawing one right now would be awesome if it would resolve, of course. Who knows if it actually would, though. Our opponent's getting such card advantage. What was lost is now returned. Final bosses making this difficult. On their flesh. So we have twenty six lands, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've seen twelve lands in the twenty two cards. So we got fourteen left. Is beating Ascanta at this point in the game when you're when you're this late in the game beating Ascanta is really difficult. But maybe they just don't have a sweeper. It's possible. Not a sweeper. Haven't they already played a sweeper? I guess not. Land number thirteen. An excellent choice. We're not playing around no settle. I'm not winning a long game. Song of Fame. Yeah, go, go, Huatli Dinos. Huatli, killing the opponent. Good job, Huatli.
Good job, Wally. All right, Carnage Tyrant. Get in here. Spyglass, get in here. Um, so just bring in those. Wait, and then bring in Knight of Autumn and cut Lyra, Ashana. And the blasts. That's 62. I think I brought in two Night of Autumns last time. I think I brought in two, not three. Oh, the coil. There we go. I think this is what I did. Yeah, this looks like it. The best booster packs to open when just starting Arena are the last two sets, Ravnica Allegiance and Guilds of Ravnica. Those two have the Shocklands in them, and they're also going to be live on Arena until October of next year. October of, or like September, September, October, so fall, I'll just say fall, fall of 2020 next year. The other four sets will be rotating out in fall of this year. And they do not have the shock lands, which the shock lands are really important. They go in like all the decks. So, uh, Virginia's okay. Um, you know, I'm in I'm in Roanoke, so I'm in like a, a small town. It's, I mean, it's not I guess not like necessarily a real small town or anything, but it's just kind of a it's just like a generic place to live in the U.S. Like there's nothing nothing bad about it at all, but there's nothing that good about it. It's just it's just a place to live, kind of. I don't like the weather here nearly as much as I like the weather in Texas. I like, I really like hot weather. Um, I, I have like, kind of poor circulation. Always, always have throughout my life something you know that's hereditary, kind of thing. And so like the cold weather really bothers me. So, you know, like, this is a time they could, you know, easily have a counter spell if I play Vivian. I would rather... Okay. I'm gonna say I'd rather uh, play the Shalai, and if, you know, if they want to, like, next turn just play a Sweeper, um... Then if they play a Sweeper, I resolve Vivian kind of thing. Now Carnage Tyrant's gonna do that for us. Yeah, I would like to be headed back to Texas, um... Not necessarily. It's not going to be soon. Like I'm. It's going to be like more like summer. Um, but yeah, I got, you know, need to find a place, all that kind of stuff. Moving. It's it's a huge hassle. Um, and everything. Still had cast down in their deck. They get to kill Land War Elf and Dino Tokens. Oh, nothing's wrong with Roanoke, like I was just saying. Um, nothing's wrong with Roanoke. It's just not where I want to be. Yeah. Come on, Carnage Tyrant, you can do it. No time for a break. You can do a Carnage Tyrant.
Only time will tell. I just uh, yeah, I just stream. Yep. This is my my full-time job. I could see them casting absorb here to to just to go to 8. Um if they do cast absorb, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cast Vivian. Cover up? They're actually shuffling cover up back in. I hope they draw that cover up. I hope they drew the cover up. That is a 5 1. Good job, Nia Legends. Coming back after a quick 0 2 league. Um, we came back, tried it again, and there we go. We did it. We did it. Wow. Yeah, we had, we had a free win in there, but still counts. We had defeated the final boss, got all these new emotes, and everything. Good day. Good day. So, um, yeah, I didn't get to see a big Druidic Vow. Um... Uh, I have like other YouTube videos of the deck. Um, if you know, just if you check out my YouTube, my YouTube page, youtubecom slash c slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, look for Nia Legends, especially the ones before RNA. I think we had some good vows. You can kind of fast through them a little bit. You know, look for a, a sweet Druidic vow. Um, I know that's a little bit of work. I'm sorry, but yeah. Yeah, and then also, like, I played this deck quite a bit before RNA came out also. Uh, as you can tell, there's basically no updates with RNA. The only thing, I think, is Stomping Ground, I think. Uh, yeah, just Stomping Ground. Um, so so you can uh, can see that. Yeah, big day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, uh, we are going to be doing a birthday stream 12 hours tomorrow so 11 a.m which is 13 hours from now so in 13 hours we're gonna be doing a 12 hour stream same stuff gonna be playing lots of decks it's gonna be a lot of fun um yeah i'm gonna get some cake um and i'm gonna see if see if kroger has a party hat um hey devo yeah you could not find your wrath especially that game one that was crazy you saw over half your deck didn't see a wrath that was unfortunate for you but yeah good games there um yeah and so if you're watching this on youtube right now of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there and thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video